say so don't give up who is laughing at you your waiting time is not your wasting time tell them don't ever forget this if you are not born again you will suffer again but if you are born again you get ready to pay the game Beloved, my God, I, I want you to sit back and be blessed. Just sit back and be blessed. Don't touch that guy because I'll be back to pray with you. Now, if that thing was not in your ATM machine, that problem would have still be solved. You will discover that you will solve it. But because you already thought you had a reserve, you create more avenue. You create more things. Especially the same way happens to Christians. You see somebody walking. It's your own heart is my salary. Your salary is like your God. You can't pay tight because at the end of the day, something tells you that this money is not enough. That is true. It will never be enough. It will not be enough. That is why you must trust God. That is why you must believe God. If you are hearing me this morning, shout, I hear you. You must trust God for financial lifting. You must trust God to obey Him. You must trust God that God is faithful. So once you have done that of God aside, and you know that by your conscience you have done that of God, and I tell you the truth, the capacity you need, you will always get it because when you begin to fail, you will receive power from on high. Am I communicating here? You will receive power from on high. But please, don't try to shift to God what you can do. All this prayer of God, give me money. Let it stop. Praise God. Lord, give me money. Let it stop. You can only ask God, give me favor. But when favor comes, you must turn favor to money. Because you cannot enter supermarket and say, I want to buy something. Say, where's money? Say, I have favor. They say, give me favor now. Praise God. So you see, favor is not tangible. That means favor will still need to be processed. There are many people who have favor with people on top. They have favor with people, but they don't even know what to get. They don't. They are asking for mundane things. They are asking for things that just to take you off. Now, now, now. But they never see tomorrow. So when they get to, to tomorrow, tomorrow looks empty. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, my tomorrow will not be empty. Lord, I receive grace. Let me hear you shout, I receive grace. To answer the hard question that life is throwing at me. Let me hear you say, Amen. Please sit down. Most people are discouraged. Most people cannot go beyond the capacity they are again because the truth is that they cannot or they are not ready to answer questions. The head of the fame of Solomon. Solomon's fame was head. Why? Because he was famous. He was famous. He walked his way for him to be heard. What are they hearing about you? Which area are they hearing of your shame or your fame? The head of Solomon's fame. So the what they heard about him provoked this woman coming. Let me come and see. Let me come and see. When they come, may you not disappoint them. First impression is very important. First impression may never be corrected again. Very important. So the woman came from far distance, but when she came, she came with question, another question, she also came with gold. And she came with it that if this man, with the intention that if this man Solomon can answer my question, I'm going to give him such and such. And actually, she paid for the information. Praise God. So what I'm saying this morning is that in financial wisdom, look deep inside of you. What is it that will make you famous? Because that's what people will come for. Your fame, not your shame. Praise God. Look deep inside of you. What is it? What are you good at? Am I communicating here? What are you good at? Every one of us here, we are good at something. Some of you, you just discovered that you like to hang around kitchen. You can enter kitchen seven times in one hour. When you enter, you don't know why you enter, but you come out. That means your destiny is in the kitchen. I don't know if uh, we are laughing now. Praise God. 
You just discover that every minute you enter a kitchen, you come out. You enter a kitchen. They say, what are you doing? I say, I don't just know what they look for. But everything you are looking for is always in the kitchen. If you look very well. May just be a chief cook. Praise God. So, what I'm saying is that look inward. What is that thing that will make you famous? What is that thing that people will come and look for? That they will pay for in your life. Solomon became a consultant in the school of wisdom. He became a co- the woman came to tap. What is it that is inside of you? Today, you see a lot of comedians springing forth. Those days, we used to say this joke free of charge. In school and in our backyard, we say it free of charge. But today, people are making millions through joke. Just making people to laugh. They check inside of you. What is inside? What is inside? And if it's inside, is it worth it? It's not everything that is inside that is worth it. Is this one worth it? Will he make the thing that I need? Can he take you of me? Can he carry me? Is this cross enough to carry me? If you are here, come on, shut I hear you. Wow, I know you've been richly blessed. In case you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord, don't let this day pass you by. Simply say with me, say, Jesus, have mercy on me. I am a sinner. From henceforth, I declare you as my Lord and personal Savior. If you have said that, just say amen with me. Now, come close to the screen. Stretch your hand on that screen as I pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rebuke sickness. I rebuke affliction. I command peace to reign in your life. Peace to reign in your home. Peace to reign in your business. And I command prosperity. I don't know what they call economic men down. I declare it will not melt you down. Let things begin to favor you right now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your foot, receive favor, which I call heavenly currency. Let it rest on you now. I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.